Do you want a cutlass loadout that can take down a C2, stay nearly invisible with just a 5.3 detection range, and still power all your weapons, shields, and thrusters? Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to build one, where to buy the components, and I'll also go do a bounty where we will go shoot down that C2 that I said in the intro. So make sure to stick around, there will be timestamps as well if you want to jump ahead, but first we will go get the weapons. The first place that we're going to visit is our weapons. We're going to go pick up our weapons at Beautiful Glen Station. The weapons that we are choosing is NDBs, I believe 30. The reason they're good, they have a super good burst damage and they have super good velocity of projectile speed, so super nice for fighting NPCs, players, all around a super good weapon at the moment. So let me quickly go get four of these. Here is beautiful Glen Station, where we're gonna be getting our weapons. I'm quickly gonna land and then we'll head over to the Galleria, to the weapon shop, and go buy four of those NDBs. Now we're at the Galleria here, I just took the elevator. All that you need to do is probably go down here. And then you should see a ship weapon shop where we can buy our size 4 weapons. I'm just going to use this terminal. I think it's NDBs, right? NDB. We need to look for size 3. Here we go. We're going to buy 4 of these. Very decent. Here we go. Probably one of the best PvP weapons at the moment. And I do like to be prepared for anything. So I'm definitely going to use them. Quickly gonna customize my ship, just hit F1. Then we go to vehicles, select our cutters black. I did store my ship before I came here. Vehicles, and then we should look for our weapons. At the moment I have attritions equipped, but they're a little bit too slow for combat. They do more damage, but they're slower. The velocity of the projectiles. So we're just gonna equip these. I'm gonna keep it gimbaled, sometimes it's nice to have. But you don't always have to use it. And then the last one up here. Nice. We can save. For my turret, you should be able to unequip it. I'm just going to unequip my turret. Since I don't want it to give my signature away. So I'll just save it like that. You will reduce your power usage. And you'll increase your ammo count on your main weapons. If you unequip your weapons on your turret. And since I'm playing solo. I do not need an extra backup turret. So let's quickly head over to my ship and let's go buy the rest of the items. For our next location, we're going to go to Orison. It's not too difficult to get. Just open up your map, type in Orison, and you should be able to navigate there quite quickly. Just a city. I'll show you how to find a spaceport. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult for newer players, but it shouldn't be too difficult for you. We have arrived at Orison. If you don't know where to get the spaceport, you'll see right there. It's a weird looking structure, almost like a little spider with only four feet. You can see in the middle there's like lights and everything with feet going out. That's the one. It's a bit confusing when you start out, but you will definitely get it down eventually. I'm gonna land and then we'll make our way to Crusader's showroom and Cousin Crows. I'll show you how to get there as well. I'll probably just skip to the elevator and then the spaceport and so forth, but you can still follow along. It's quite straightforward if you just run straight to the shuttle station. Yeah, I managed to store my ship. Just remember, it's super important. Now let's head over to the spaceport and I'll show you where to go. Here's the spaceport. We're just going to head this way. We're going to head all the way till we find an elevator. Just keep left. Once you ran straight forward, you should see these elevators. There's a couple of them. They're blue. Can't really miss them. There's the only place you can really go. So just go on here, head to the shuttle station. Once at the shuttle station, you want to take the right shuttle right here. We're going to have to wait a minute, but we're going to take this shuttle. Here our shuttle is coming. So we're just going to get on this and then once it stops, we're going to get off. Finally arrived here. Now we're going to make our way over to Crusader showroom. All you need to do is look around a little bit, run up here, and you should see the Crusader showroom right there. Look for that icon. We're going to run over this bridge. Here you can see Crusader showroom. Because we reached the area here. Take the elevator on the left. And we should be able to go to the actual showroom. Just choose showroom. Here is the showroom. Just want to go to the terminal here and buy missiles and missile racks. I'm going to show you exactly what to buy in a minute. 
so that you can set up your catalyst for success it can hold 48 missiles i believe small ones which can rapid fire basically so you just, just want to type in 481 i believe this is the missile racks that you want to buy you want to buy six of these so just add six here you go six you're gonna buy already bought mine and then you want task force so task force it's a size one missile task four missiles doesn't have the most damage but their lock on time is super quick as 0.1 seconds i believe this is why you buy it because you can just quickly log on fire a couple of missiles and you can do a bunch of damage without the target being able to predict it so super decent and they have about yeah, i think you need to be one kilometer out to be able to lock onto your target so also super short range so you can just quickly dump a couple and hit your target go back to guns and shoot them super nice i really enjoy them now that we've got the missiles we need to make our way over to cousin crow to buy almost all of our things except the shields so to go to cousin crow you just go back the way you came hit the elevator button go to the foyer now i'm going to be a little bit more hands-on to find cousin crow because it might be a little bit more difficult it's a little bit hidden here and there you're going to go back over the bridge here until we find the shuttles right we just go over here and i'll show you exactly where to go we're probably going to have to wait for a shuttle here and there 30 seconds is usually what we're going to do we do not want to go to the spaceport we want to go to the other one let me just quickly zoom in here so that's the spaceport we do not want to go to that one we want to go to the right one here the providence platforms exactly so i'm quickly going to wait here for the shuttle you should be able to wait there oh it's actually coming our way so here we go just get on this and then when it stops get off here we go we're at the station here now all that we need to do is make our way over the cars and crows you can just go in here just follow along i'm gonna not skip this since it's pretty important i used to struggle getting two cousin crows but it's pretty easy to get once you learn how to get there just follow along we're just gonna go down here you'll even see a little sign cousin crows but it's a little bit hidden out of the way right so it's super important to get to this location just open the door and we're basically here though servers are lagging finally we made it now we can just go down the steps once down here you should be able to find the terminals first we want to buy our stealth power plant this is the biggest thing that will influence your signature so very important to get this you won't get the most power but you'll get a lot of stealth from it so our power plant here is going to be the eclipse so we're going to buy this power plant the eclipse you can see it's a grade a so has a decent amount of health so if they shoot you with ballistics your power plant won't just instantly die on you and then for our coolers yes we are going to buy two coolers we're going to buy night nightfall we're going to buy two because we can just turn the other one off and if they destroy one of our coolers we can just turn the other one on again so we're going to buy two of these if you can't afford two just buy one but i'm going to buy two just for in case here we go this is all we need at this location we now we just need to go buy shields which is at Grim Hex. Actually, I forgot we need one more thing, which is our quantum drive. Now, this is not the most important thing for active combat, but this will reduce your signature when quantum traveling. For example, let's say you spool up your quantum drive. This will reduce it. Super decent if you just want to quantum drive out and not let everybody know that, oh, here I am. I'm going to jump. Here is the quantum drive. I have no idea how to say this. I want to say special. But special, I'm not quite sure. But maybe you can tell me how to say this in the comments below. But it is stealth and grade A. All the quantum drives at the moment are the same. So they don't have any difference. The only difference here is this one is more stealthy. Okay, we've got our quantum drive. Now we're done. I'm quickly going to go customize my ship. I'll show you how to do it as well. We're back in our hangar. Let's customize our Cutlass Black. Mine has already been customized a little bit beforehand. But I'll quickly run over the basics with you so that you can understand. Maybe you've never done this before. Who knows? But just wait for your cutlass here. If you didn't know, you go to vehicles. And then you choose cutlass. Once here, you can go to your jump drive, which is not in yet. And then we can go to systems. Once it's systems, we're going to select nightfall or coolers. 
Nightfall and then our power plant. Eclipse right. Our quantum drive is going to be the one that I don't know how to say. Speckle, special, have no idea. We don't have our shields yet, but we'll have it in a minute. Since we're going to go to Grimax after this. Just press save, then we go over to weapons. Choose your missile racks. You can see I already have my 481 missile racks equipped. Meaning the missile rack is size 4. It can hold 8 missiles and they're going to be size 1. This is what you want to select. Just equip them. Say so save again and then you can equip your missiles here. You're going to have to equip quite a few missiles. Since you're going to have to do this 4 to 8 times to equip all of them. Which is a little bit ridiculous but that's basically the only thing that you need to do. Is equip your missiles. We already equipped our weapons previously. So we're all good to go. Let me quickly call my cutlass. And then we go pick up our shields at Grim Hex. So we're at Grim Hex here. If you don't know how to find Grim Hex. It's just one search away right. You probably can search here. But it's around Crusader at Yala. Just type in Grim Hex and you should be good to go. Let's quickly go to the hangar. And then I'll show you where to find Dumpers Depot. Okay we're here at Grim Hex. Let's quickly head to Dumpers Depot. Just go to the elevator here and go up. Or is it down? It's definitely down. To find Dumpers Depot, we can just go up the stairs here to the left. It's not too difficult to find once you know. Because they actually have an indicator for it. Which is a small little arrow. Not the best indicator. Maybe a sign would have been nice. But we do get a little arrow at least. We can go in here and then we can buy our shield that we need. So the shield is called Halter. It's a class B. The greatest B and the class is competition. I did look for a class A but I don't think you get any. So you're just going to buy this shield. It's the best shield. It gives you the most shielding out of all the shields. So we're definitely not compromising on this at all. Let me quickly equip it to my cutlass. Customize your ship or your shield at least. Just go to vehicles again. System and then we can choose our shield right here. Competition. This should complete our ship. Base components, base missiles, base weapons. Let me quickly show you how to power it or how to distribute your power. So for our power setup, we've got full weapons. If you're wondering, oh, it's not full weapons. Why is the one at the top not in? It's because that's the turret. I took the turret off. All the weapons from the turrets, I took it off. You can see it's a little bit grayed out with dotted lines. So it doesn't matter. We still get full weapons here. And then we get full thrusters, full shields. We do not need our, our little tractor beam. We do not need life support. It's not in yet. And then we only need one cooler. So I turn this one off. So we're pretty decent here. This will give you super stealth. 4.5 EM. IR is a little bit weird. 5.3. And then the cross section is the whole ship. 13. But this is actually if you point your nose towards somebody. I think it's 4.6 just like almost close to your EM so the the biggest thing here is the 5.3k mostly so about 5k out they will start seeing you so definitely super stealthy cutlass even though she's kind of ugly and not stealthy at all you still make her super stealthy for a cutlass I did use Urkel to build all of my things here where to get all the components and so forth so super helpful website here you can see our em or is it i think it's our em it's only 4.5 so this is basically the real results in game it can be a little bit buggy but here it is you can see the cross section if we point our nose is four four six ninety so that's about 4k almost 5k out they can start spotting us so super decent and it will all still work pretty decently and we did remove our turret here as well I believe so no need for extra power since we save on one bar i'll probably link this whole spreadsheet for you if you want to take a look at it maybe you can improve it let me know if you do so i'm quickly going to do a mission with you just to show you the weapons and how the cutlass performs maybe we can even test out the stealth the servers are pretty cooked at the moment that's why i did a build today but let's quickly take a look at how the cutlass can do a bounty hunting mission so i'm just going to do an mrt here should be pretty decent for a cutlass. There's a red C2 here on my MRT bounty. I have no idea why. Maybe it's a player. I don't know. But let's see when it starts targeting us. It should be about 5k out. We should get a warning when they start targeting us, right? 
Okay, they, I think they just locked us because we got radar. So the 5.3, so it does work. Yeah, I'm getting hit now. Which is, I think, that's actually the freaking C2, which is crazy. So here's the C2. Don't know if it's a player or not. Oh, it's an outlaw. It's definitely not the thing. You think we can take the C down, C2 down? I don't think so. But I'll quickly deal with our target here first. And then we'll see if we can take down the C2 maybe. If we survive this. Okay, we've got the first one there. Let me just see. There's the C2, which is kind of nuts. First, I'll do the origin ship now. Okay, origin ship down was quite quick, actually. Oh, we've got the main test that's left over. And the main test is dead. Now, there's a C2, a rogue C2. I wonder if the thing has cargo. It does have quite a bit of cargo, which is kind of surprising. I don't know why we found it here, but maybe we can take care of it. Probably going to take a minute. Oh, we got the C2. Nice. And I bet it has a lot of cargo as well. Let's just quickly take a look here. Quantanium, super nice. Medical supplies, I'll definitely take. So only two quantanium, autotoxin, two. Tungsten, I'll quickly do my best to take what I what I can. This was quite a surprise to me. I didn't expect a C2 to be at the MRT. But I think this is maybe from somebody else's mission. But you can see, we can destroy a C2 with this build as well. Okay, and we've got everything here. We've got the cords, we've got the autotoxin, we've got the medical supplies. Nothing too crazy, but I hope you enjoyed this build video. Enjoy your new cutty. This video was helpful. Please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, then you can watch this video right here where I show you how to use the new Argo vehicle to loot drugs. Pretty interesting things. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.